So I recently moved into a new neighborhood and I've been noticing a lot of cats around that don't seem to have homes. You know, a feral cat is like a wild animal and they're not dangerous per se unless they're really, really scared. They just want to run away from you. I wanted to learn how to help my new little neighbors, so I sat down with Caitlin Beal, director of Sky Sanctuary Rescue in Phoenix. She says we need to trap these feral cats to make sure they're fixed and vaccinated, then re-release them using a method called trap, neuter, release or TNR. That's the best way to manage a feral colony, take care of the animals and get the overpopulation under control. The T in TNR stands for trap and that's the first step. So we need to set up traps in their territory. This is the what they call the trip plate. Trip plate. Humanely, the animal's going to walk in to eat. It's gonna put its feet right here when it's trying to eat the food out of this bowl, and then the door's gonna close behind them. You want to fill the trap with what the cat wants, which is cat food or chicken. We're gonna take both rings, raise them up, pull the door, make sure this is all flat, pull this upward, and voila. It smells delicious in here. <laughs> Oh, ah, ah. The next step is to neuter. You take the cat to a vet to be fixed and also to receive important vaccinations. Caitlin says most vets take spay neuter patients in the morning and you get them back that afternoon. The vet will also cut off a bit of the cat's ear, which is called an ear tip. While they're going under surgery, they truly just clip a little part of their ear and that's the universal sign that a cat has been fixed. Before you start trapping, you have to look at their ears. But your job's not quite done yet. Once you pick the cat up from the vet, Caitlin says you'll need to find a safe space for a day for the cat to recover. Super quiet, covered, a bathroom works great. Okay. You just don't use that bathroom for the next 24 hours. After 24 hours, it's considered safe to move on to the final step, release. Bring the cat back to their home turf. Return them to wherever you trapped them. Mm -hmm. If you're trapping, you know, at a park and that's the only home they've ever known, they know that environment well, you bring them back the next morning, you try to pick a calm time and you can actually just open the trap and they will run out to the only home they've ever known. We're helping control the feral cat population with the ABCs of TNR.